classroom action. So let's say I want to select these four classes here. Notice now over here on the top right hand corner, I have some icons here that I can utilize. Here's one that's called class action. The um, option you may want to use, you may want to select this to archive these four classes because no one is actively monitoring them. You definitely can select there. So if I select this right here, it's going to take you through that walkthrough. Confirm that this is what you want to do. Check all of these classes. It continues. And then you can choose if you want to email the primary teacher and then confirm what you want going to do. And those classes will become archived. So that's one of your options that you have here. That's probably the only one that we would like you guys to use right there. And then notice also I have a, a shortcut for teacher action here. I can join all four of these classes at once. I could be a co-teacher or add a co-teacher to all four of these courses. I could remove co-teachers from all of these classes at once. And I could even change the primary all at once. So this gives you some bulk actions to do at once for quick for quickly getting something done here in the Explorer. And you'll see this icon here for student actions. I'm able to perform those students' actions to all of the classes I have selected. I can join those classes, I can add students to those four classes, or I can remove students from those selected classes. So look for that on the right-hand side as you're doing that as well.